Well, hello, this is cracky old me. Remember that? <laughs> I, um, well, actually, I didn't vlog last Thursday. This is yesterday when you're watching it. So today is Wednesday. And I just wanted to thank you guys for being so wonderful. Oh gosh, I'm already going to tear up for um, your comments, your sweet comments on my vlog last Saturday. I really, really hate crying in public. That doesn't mean I haven't done it, but um, like every video where I started crying in front of the camera, so definitely the burnout video and the story time where I told you I almost died, blah, blah, I always cut it out. But um, yeah, what was I going to say? I don't know, I, I was so afraid of making this video because I thought I was gonna cry and I actually made a thank you when I left Leoarda last Saturday and I was so tired and I just had like the most amazing, wonderful um, train, how do you say conductor in English? Like this is going to be, you wanna have a real talk? This is real talk, you know? I don't always know the English words. So the person who checks your tickets in the train that person she was so friendly and she was so sweet and i only had like four hours of sleep and i was so exhausted and i got in the train and i read all your sweet comments and then i realized i forgot to check in for the train and she said like if you get out at the next stop and just check in i won't give you a fine and the fine was like 50 euros so i would i just ran out of the train and i checked in and i got back in the train and i started vlogging and i wanted to thank you guys and i wanted to uh you know tell you the story and i and i just had like this massive ugly cry i'm going to put the clip <laughs> i'm going to put the clip in right now I was just running in here fate and she was like, please put a hand up so I know you're in the train. It was just so sweet. Because you guys have really <laughs> I'm already tearing up again. You guys have really earned my trust for having my back. You know, every time I was down. <laughs> Sorry. I just really hate crying in public. Even my friends rarely see me cry. So this is like, you know, maybe it's like a cathartic experience just getting that out of my freaking system because it's okay to cry. But it was just like, you guys are so sweet. And you know, I never felt lonely when I was traveling because I had you by my side. Because I could always pick up the camera and talk to you. And you guys, it just, you know, I'm crying because I've never met you. And I would really like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> because I've never met you and you are such kind and sweet people having my back, even though you only know me from my videos. And it's just, it just you know it hits me in the feels so okay breathe breathe so this is just a thank you and i want to be real with you guys because you know what i just i just recently heard a quote from a lady superwoman she is honestly my hero she said promote what you love don't bash what you hate and i was like wow that's so spot on because that's really what i believe in my religion is love so that's why I usually don't tell you like when I'm feeling sad or something in a vlog or when I'm angry at something because I don't wanna, you know, I just wanna make you happy because you guys make me happy. But, you know, I guess sadness is also part of the journey. This is going to be such an awful vlog. Wow. We have a happy, happy Leo Varda vlog coming up tomorrow. So if you hate this crying thing, just click away and come back tomorrow. What I wanted to say is like, I haven't been honest to you guys because I don't want to bash what I hate. And there's just, but like now it's the time to be real. And I just want to tell you, this is not me bashing the Netherlands, but it's just, I've been here for too long for these guys, for these things to get to me again. And I really, really miss warmth, like 28, 29 degrees. That's like my ideal temperature. I really need the warmth to be happy. Not even sun, I just need it to be warm. Also, I miss nature a lot. I miss mountains to hike in. I miss like 
beaches with like you know white sand and not brown water and I miss um, I miss street food a lot so these things like in the last couple of months in, in December it was all right in January it already started get to me but like in February March it, it started to really get to me and that's what you've been seeing like when I'm saying that I'm really happy about something or I, I really like it I really really mean it but the things that I don't like I just don't tell you because I'm like what what like what is the added value of me telling this to you because I know so many people who hate the Sun and who hate the warmth and they're really happy in cold weather so what is the added value of me telling that I need warmth to be happy and I don't know so that's me being real like these things these three things are really get to me I'm really really missing that in order to be like fully happy and yeah I'm working on you know a new travels and we're probably going to a very very sunny destination in May it's like 95% rounded up and we're going to the mountains in France in um, in June at the beginning of June and there's also like an awesome island trip coming up in June which is also it's all not you know been finalized but it it's something that you know gives me something to look forward to and keep me going and I am also looking into options for house sitting in France in August. I'm really like totally in love again with France and with the food. And we have this amazing country that every person in the world, well, not every person in the world, but a lot of people in the world want to visit. And we in the Netherlands have it in our backyard. So I would love to spend like a month or even like two weeks in August house sitting, maybe like cuddling with animals. House sitting is, is like an option where you uh, will live in a person's house and you like take care of their pets or you maybe take care of their garden. Now, my gardening skills are like, they suck. I don't do gardening, but if someone wants me to take care of their dog in their, you know, take care of their house in the south of France for two weeks, I say hella yes. So yeah, this is just like, I hope you got through the crying part because now I'm back to normal again. You know, it's okay to cry, but I just, you know, I don't know. I've had like, also, also a little bit of real talk. I've had like really nasty people, uh, who are not anymore in my life, but who would really take advantage of your most vulnerable moment to, you know, make you dependent of them and like kick you even more. And that's why I, you know, those scars are still quite deep. So I don't like to cry in front of people and, you know, to show my vulnerabilities because I, I know there are like some nasty people around who will really take advantage of that to make you feel even worse. But like I said, you really earn my trust with your responses. And I just genuinely love you so much. I'm going to tear up again because again, I cannot believe that there are like people I have never met who actually like care enough for you to leave you like these sweet comments and brighten up your day so thank you so much for being there for me and i will you know i will continue to make vlogs whenever i feel like it and you guys also gave me like this you know this really good insight that it's ridiculous to always have something to do i can just you know stay at home and have like a really cool chill vlog and something that i wanted to do for a really long time and i couldn't do it because I was pressuring myself to go outside of the house and do fun stuff. I wanted to make a lot of recipes which I still have on my Pinterest boards. Some guys have some of you guys have been asking for the clean recipes. I really, really do not enjoy making recipe videos anymore and I'm so sorry, but I'm not going to be making those. But what I can do for you is we can, you know, start baking and cooking together in a vlog. So that's what I wanted to, for, to do for a really long time. Just have a day and take all those recipes for my clean Pinterest board and make those together with you. But, so that's something that I really wanted to do. So this is already like, wow, this is way too long. I don't know if you watch this, like even if three people watch this, you are freaking awesome and I love you so much. And if I haven't met you already, I really, really hope to meet you one day and to give you like this big massive hug for always having my back. Thank you. I love you. Bye. Mwah.